like to welcome you all out to the Eagle's Nest. I'm your host, Jeff Percaro, and today we have with us Seth Cromenhook. Seth, I'd like you to tell us a little bit about yourself, what sports you play, and uh, what year you are in school. All right, thank you for having me. Um, so I play, I play three sports. Um, football is my first uh, in the fall, and I'm the kicker for them. Um, and then next I have basketball and I play, um, the forward. And then, uh, after that in the spring, we have soccer and I play center back and then, uh, I'm a junior this year. So that's, that's great. And so, um, with all this going on, did you guys just only get one game in before this was all stopped? So we, uh, thankfully we were able to head down to St. George. Uh, we had a three game preseason tournament down there um so that was that was nice to get a few more games in but then we came back and we had one game against springville uh thankfully we beat them so we ended our this little break uh with a win but yeah definitely cut our season shorter than we'd expected yeah that's that's tough too um so what have you been doing to kind of keep in shape and keep going while this suspension's been going on Mm -hmm. Yep. So I, um, I've done my best to try to do a workout of some sort every day, um, whether it's lifting um, or going for a run. Um, and then I try to get touches on the ball uh, frequently throughout the week. Um, but yeah, it's, it's tough not having our regular practice schedule, um, but it's nice to get, get working out. Yeah, that's that's great. And so one of the things, too, is you're kind of working and, and drilling and all these kinds of things. You know, when a lot of people will go out and get ready to um, practice and and kind of go through the monotony of drills and everything, what what would you say um, is what you and your teammates do to kind of make practice fun? Mm -hmm. Um. Well, I think for me personally, the funnest practices are actually the most competitive. And so when when uh, players show up focused and uh, with energy, you tend to have more fun. You kind of get on each other's nerves and um, make it a little more enjoyable. That's great. Um, and so some of the other times when you get out on the field, a lot of people, and especially you being a place kicker uh, and all, there's, there's got to be some nerves, you know, along with that. You're going to be going out and you've got to kind of stop and, and, and get ready to perform. What do you do to kind of get rid of the butterflies? So personally, I just kind of take a step back and, and breathe. Uh, I know lots of people do that. But I also, I, I tell myself, you know, you've been here before, you've done this before. And you just kind of have to, because I think the butterflies come from, from doubt and so you just have to um you know think it's just another kick and uh that tends to work a little but i mean i will say it's it's hard to get rid of all the butterflies for sure but. <laughs> yep that's great um so you've been playing these sports for a long time how when did you start playing sports and which sports did you play as a kid younger mm -hmm. so Oh man, I would say I was about about six years old when I played my first soccer team. We were just a little city league team, and then uh, once eighth grade hit, uh, or eight eight eight, eight years old. <laughs> Sorry, um, when I was eight years old, I joined a club soccer team, and uh, we I've been playing that ever since. And then basketball started up in fourth grade. Um, so yeah, it's it's been a while. Okay, so so out of those sports, I'm I'm gonna ask you something I haven't asked anybody else yet. So, <laughs> the, what which is your favorite sport out of the three? Ooh. I I have a hard time um, deciding between uh, basketball and soccer because I've I've been with those for a long time, and mm -hmm. they're so different in the the energy, the the play style. Um, so I usually just go with whatever's in season is my favorite sport. Um, That's then, great. Yeah. And, and with that, I mean, you're, you're a multi-sport athlete, so you're playing multiple sports. Kind of how do you deal with the transitions between each season? Um, yeah, so 
during the football season, actually, I um, is during is my club soccer season. So that that's a, the fall is pretty tough um, to find time and stuff, but that keeps my soccer. But other than that, I just once the season starts, I just have to I just work really hard to try to get back to where I was um, when the season ended. That's great. And so in all these years of doing sports and stuff, what would you say is your favorite memory of playing sports? Mm. Well, one that comes to mind was actually this year, um, preseason basketball. We, uh, we were up at doing a corner Canyon tournament um, and we were matched up against corner Canyon. And uh, so it's at their place. It's this big preseason tournament. And I'm not 100% sure, but I'm not sure if we've beat them uh, in the past. Mm -hmm. they're, they're a good team. Uh, I believe they were the 5A state champions uh, last year as well. And so we went into that and we played so good. We could not miss. It was, oh, we played such good defense. And just the the bond that we got after that game, The I mean, the locker room after the game, we were all cheering and screaming. <laughs> and oh just we walked away from that knowing like we are the best team in the state we can do this you know and it was the oh, that, that was a hard feeling to forget for sure that's great those, those are good memories definitely um another question i've been asking uh, the athletes is you know if you look at the sports world and you look at whether it's high school or or professional or college or whatever who would you say is your sports hero or somebody in the sports world that you look up to? Mm -hmm. The first one that comes to my mind uh, is Michael Jordan. He, uh, I don't know. I just love the, the way he played. He's, he was so dynamic and athletic, but just, I don't know. He was all around a great player, but he was also a really good, good person. And that's, that's what I try to do. Um, I look, look up to those uh, famous athletes who, who are good people off the court. Okay. And um, one of the other questions we've been asking and, and, you know, we've had a lot of people come up with the same answer and we've actually had a few other uh, good answers here, but what is your favorite sports movie and why? So I believe the one is uh, remember the Titans. <laughs> <laughs> so I kind of, I've been thinking, and there's actually a soccer one uh, on Netflix. It's called Pele. Okay. And um, so Pele is kind of known for being the the world's best soccer player. Um, and it's a it's a documentary kind of, but it's formatted like a movie, mm -hmm. um, just of his childhood and how his career started. And yeah, so I'll I'll stick with that one. I love love that movie. There you go. That's 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 <laughs> great. And Pele, he was a phenomenal. Uh, baller for sure mm -hmm. um that that was actually back in my day so <laughs> oh yes <laughs> <laughs> so so that's mm. that's really good um if i had to ask you've actually had a lot more opportunity being a multi-sport athlete of playing at a lot of really good venues whether it's soccer or football or basketball where would you say is your favorite place to play mm. um so for me personally, I cannot get over the my, like it's like I feel the urge to to get in stressful scenarios for some reason. And so <laughs> one of my favorite places to play is actually uh, in the main gym of the Maple Mountain basketball court in a big game rivalry against Springville when we have just the, the bleaches are packed. Oh, I don't know when the, when you hit a shot and everyone just erupts. Oh, that. I don't know. You just get the chills. I love that feeling. <laughs> that that's great, and, and we do have good uh, good places to play, definitely. Um, so one of the questions um, I have is, uh, is UHSAA has come in and said, hey, you know, we're kind of holding off on play for a while and letting everyone kind of stay home, stay safe. Um, one of the questions I I have is. Um, you know, they've talked a little bit about potentially um, having extended seasons if they were to be able to start in May sometime. And the question is, what are your thoughts on that and potentially even going into June? Mm -hmm. So I, uh, I've thought about that. And it's 
it's definitely a tricky situation because I mean, we're all mostly on our own. Uh, some of us can get together in little groups, but it's, we haven't, we can't be practicing as a full, full team. And I know that's hard to get back and all of a sudden have games. Um, but I, I really would like to, to get back. Cause I mean, we all look forward to these seasons the whole year. And then, uh, I don't know, we just, we want to play our games. So. Uh, absolutely. Um, and one of the other questions I have is, is, um, you know, Maple Mountain is a member of the, especially for athletes, or, are you familiar with that? I am. I'm actually, I was, I'm on the uh, leadership council of, okay. of especially for athletes. So I'm Good. very so, familiar. So let's ask you a couple questions about that. I want to ask you, I've asked a couple others, some of the different, um, you know, topics. And, and I want to ask you about what does it mean to seek to bless, not to impress? What does that mean to you? So for me personally, I, I think back, there's this thing that um, is kind of, I think, I believe there's a book written about it. It's, they call it the, the sport light. And it's kind of a idea that like the athletes are, they get extra attention and it's what you use with that attention, whether it be good or bad. And so that's that's what I the way I see it. That saying is, we you can always show up to the games, show up to school, to uh, hoping for recognition and to be praised. But the way it's so much better to make other people's lives better, lift other people up, and that actually um, is a more like admirable trait. That's great. Thank you for your words there. Um, again, I want to thank everyone and uh, for following us and, and watching these uh, segments. And I want to thank you, Seth, for finding some time to be able to, to hook up in a video chat and um, appreciate it. Thank you so much for having me. It's been it's been fun. Okay, so this has been another episode of The Eagle's Nest, and I am your host, Jeff Percaro. We want to remind everyone to go out and follow our social media. We have YouTube channel, Instagram, Facebook, all our Maple Mountain Sports, and our Twitter is Maple MTN Sports. We'd love you to subscribe and follow and and be able to get the information that we have out there for all of our athletes. And we thank you again for joining us for the Eagle's Nest.